Hi friends, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. My name is Renee Hoffman, our Wednesday Worship Coordinator, and I'd like to welcome you to our midweek Lenten worship this year. This season, we will be enjoying worship together at home, again. I can't believe it was a year ago we were sent into quarantine in the middle of Lent, and here we are again, still at home. And since we're in the season still, when things are uncertain, when I'm searching for God's voice, I always run to the Psalms. And so this season, I'd like to invite you to five weeks of spending some time in God's word in the Psalms. So each week, we've invited five different speakers to reflect on five different Psalms. So tonight, enjoy your reflection on Psalm 25, and then we are gonna enjoy some music from Hold an Evening Prayer. These are some beautiful words and melodies that we're gonna choose selections from each week. It's a beautiful tradition that's been etched into my soul and I hope the words and melodies that of a tradition that you will come to love as well. So join with us as we begin our worship with the beautiful music of Hold an Evening Prayer. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness, and shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. We shall raise our songs to you, God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, in the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear you. Song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that warms the very soul, love that bursts all chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You who made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice let us each reflect your light mighty god of all creation gentle christ who lights our way loving spirit of salvation lead us on to endless day May God be with you all, and also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. Oh, your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. Thank you. 
by Renee to do a short reflection on the first 10 verses of Psalm 25. I'm going to use this rope as uh, a way to help illustrate this psalm. Now, I, I like the psalms, and I use them occasionally for prayer. And I'd like to share with you my favorite verses from Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I offer my prayer, and you, O God, I trust. Teach me your ways. Teach me to live according to your truth. For you are my God. I trust in you. I pray that your faithfulness and love lead me. As I was preparing for this reflection, I came across an article by Lisa Pruitt, who runs half marathons. She tells the story of a particular marathon she was running in which there was a visually impaired man in the group. She writes, in front of this blind man was a guide with a bright orange vest and the word guide printed on the back. The guide had a rope around his waist and the other end was in the hand of the visually impaired man. Now, as I reflected on this story, I was impressed by what Lisa was saying. And she continued, I avoid obstacles when I run, crack sidewalks, uneven pathways. I go around other people who get in my way. And I have perfect vision. I can't imagine running any distance without being able to see. You'd have to have strong trust in the person guiding you. This blind runner wasn't anxious. He was beaming. Maybe he felt secure because he was firmly attached to his guide. As I reflected on this story, I thought about the many times that I have been firmly attached to my guide, that I have been connected to God and have clung to God for guidance. 
times when my husband and I were raising teenage daughters or times at work when I have to do a presentation and I don't have a clue what I'm going to say or times like now when I'm trying to stay healthy from COVID. But there are times when I let go of that connection. And those are usually times when things are going well for me. I need this Psalm. It reminds me never to let go. It reminds me to trust God for the next step in the unknown path ahead. Teach me your ways, O God, for you are my God. I trust in you. Amen. Well, thank you for that beautiful reflection on Psalm 25, Pat. If you'd like to spend more time in the Psalm this week, try out Let Go Thy Vinia, as she shared. We also have some discussion questions for the whole family and coloring pages online. And spend some time in this wonderful Psalm this week. Thank you so much for spending time with us today and spend a moment to share in this blessing, whether it's by yourself at home or with each other as a family and draw the sign of the cross on each other's forehead and say, God loves you and God forgives you. Have a blessed week, friends. Bye. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for us.